Could you walk me through what inspired you to start a career in the arts? I think my inspiration for becoming an artist started really, really early. Um, I think as a queer little boy, uh, it was my only escape uh, from just the regular of everyday living. Um, I think just by doing some art in my room alone, um, I could invent my own sort of world. Um, so I would just get lost doing drawings and copies of master paintings from encyclopedias and other books that I could find. And so the inspiration, I think, came more from creating my own world. Yeah. How do you think your work as an artist is different from other creatives that practice the same medium? Um, I think when I look at other artists, other painters, because I'm primarily a painter, I would say there's not a lot of figurative realism happening. Um, and I'm a figurative uh, painter. I, I like painting portraits. I like painting people. Um, and I'm kind of obsessed with realism and rendering. I really do like rendering a subject from start to finish. And so it's, it's, it's not... I believe seen as very contemporary to be a figurative realist painter. Um, you don't see much of it, but when you do see it, it's um, the scale is huge or the scale is tiny. Um, so I think that's how I differ in terms of technique or like style of painting. Yeah. How are you contributing to Mondieu's opening exhibit, Intimate Exchanges? Well, my work for the show, um, I have three paintings in the show, um, and they're primarily based on objects. Um, I asked my models or people that I asked to sit for me to choose the gayest object they own. And then I generally either do a portrait of them with it, or in this case, I had uh, hands holding up the objects. And then uh, for this show, I did a large piece where it was a collection of objects um, that belong to one gay man that I know. And so I think that intimacy of, I think just collecting objects is very intimate. And I think collecting objects uh, for gay men in general, um, there's an intimacy and oftentimes uh, there's camp, there's kitsch, there's sex, uh, all of those things involved together. Um, and I think that's how I sort of bring that intimate exchange in this show. Yeah. The show explores uh, themes of sexuality, vulnerability, and humor. If you had to pick one of those traits, how do you use it in your typical day-to-day -day life? Hmm. I think the vulnerability and the humor are sort of intertwined. I think uh, having been a teacher for a really long time, I teach painting. I think one way to get someone to feel comfortable and to trust you is to make them feel, uh, to make them comfortable is I, I just use humor. Just if you can make them laugh, then their, sort of their guard goes down. And once their guard is down, it's easier for them to learn. It's easier for them to take in information. And so I think that vulnerability then comes in. Um, so I think the combination of both the, the humor, bring, bringing that vulnerability is what's important. That's, I think that's how I would see that.